Hi, my name is Jo. I've been, uh, I've been doing many things in my life. I was a teacher at NYU for German. I translated for the UN. I um, am a therapist, I'm an author. And recently, I came back to Germany after almost 20 years in the United States, and I started a tour company. Uh, and I've been working as a tour guide for the past eight years or so. And uh, it's great fun because Berlin is such a exciting, exhilarating, vibrant city. Berlin is actually one of the three most visited cities in Europe right now. And uh, I think many people don't know what to expect when they come here. I always like that because when you go to Paris or London, you kind of know what to expect. And here I find people come and they don't know, is this an old city, is it a big city, is it green? And they are always surprised and they're always impressed. Many people want to see the Berlin Wall, obviously when you come here you want to see it. Um, it was put up in 1961, the year I was born in, and, that, and it stood for almost 30 years, dividing East and West, and actually surrounded West Berlin completely. Uh, it was about 100 miles in length. There are a few places where you can still see the original wall, and I think it's definitely something that you should go and see. So this is actually where the wall used to be, and remember there are two walls. There was one outer and one inside wall. Right here, these houses, you know, they were they were the last houses on in the east. You, know, you walk down the street, you go to, I don't know, you want to go out, and then you stumble over a little plaque in the in the on the ground that says, here lived so-and-so and was killed by the Nazis. So there are always these small reminders. And uh, I think it, it, it makes sense the way they do it because it's um, something you shouldn't forget. So um, it's, it's always there, but you know, there's so many facets to Berlin. So you, you should um, not just look at the one, but, but see all of them.